What are zero-day attacks and vulnerabilities? Well, that's today's Monday Minute. I'm David Staples, and I hope you'll consider clicking on that subscribe button as you're watching this video. But let's get started right now. So what are zero-day attacks and vulnerabilities? Well, a zero-day vulnerability is a vulnerability that has not been patched yet. Normally, I know we think of zero days as being you know, just immediately, right? Well, essentially, a zero day can extend more than just zero or one or two days. Sometimes it might take a couple of weeks or even a couple of months for a manufacturer or software developer to issue a patch to a particular vulnerability that exists in a certain system. So we still refer to them as zero days up until the point that they actually get patched. If you're looking for a place to find some of these vulnerabilities, you can actually go Google CVE, it's Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, that it will actually show you a list of all the different vulnerabilities that exist out there that have been discovered and reported to these CVE databases or repositories. So a zero day attack, of course, means that we're just basically attacking one of these vulnerabilities that has not yet been patched or where a patch doesn't exist yet rather. Hopefully once the patch is actually developed, the system administrators and network administrators go ahead and actually download the patch and install it, but that's why it's important to go ahead and patch our systems as quickly as we can. Now zero days are certainly a lot tougher to prevent against, but we certainly do our best to try and harden these systems, lock them down, and prevent against these types of things in the first place. So I hope you found this explanation helpful and you're studying for whatever CompTIA A+, Network+, plus, Security+, plus type certification that you're looking at, uh, maybe even the Cybersecurity Analyst+, plus or CASP. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of my videos. I do have some videos on those various different topics. And uh, again, I hope you've clicked on that subscribe button. If not, feel free to go ahead and click on it now. If you've got any questions related to anything we've talked about here or anything else, feel free to leave those in the comments below. But until the next video, you guys take care, and we will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.